Alas, the common people are running amok. None of them stand out to me. And what they really need is a leader. <laughs> it's a pity, I agree. But I know you're excited to be at war. We of the sword long for the days when we can cross another sword in a battle or a war. I ask, what are the Sun of Zhongdong? Hungry tigers! And with what do we fight? Our powerful fangs! Right. This is a land at war. Soon we'll tear out their hearts. Zhou Yu, what do you think of the coalition? Not a great deal at a glance, my lord. Men without honor, lacking in courage. I'm sure that Dong Zhuo was quaking in his boots right about now. <laughs> I don't trust any of them. Now can you blame me? I have only myself to trust. And the great strength of Zhang Dong. Was that not your intent from the beginning? <laughs> Naturally. Zhou Yu, go and join my boy. He has no subtlety in war. My son is a wild boar. I am sure that's not what my lord means. The part about, say, being a wild boar, of course. I'm off. To aid the son of the tiger as I am bid. The confidence of youth. Ah, to be young again. Father, I found this lying on the ground next to the enemy strategist. Oh, is that not the great seal of the ancient Imperial House? It is said the one holding the seal is destined one day to be seated on the Imperial throne. Foolishness. That's merely an old wives' tale. It's superstition. Do you think the fate of a country depends on who finds a seal? And yet, my lord, if I may speak, although it is superstition, people believe it possesses power, my lord. Yes, I see. It might be useful. Spread the news to all the men. The Imperial Seal is here. It has come into the hands of the Tiger of Zhang Dong. Oh. I told you it would happen. Xia Pi has fallen. Lu Bu will no doubt come south once he's gathered a sufficient force. <laughs> a simple fellow. It would appear that the Imperial Seal has been useful. Father, I say we should attack. Boldness is what's required. Should we act like old men or show him real power? And abandon our defense? You'd rather go on attack. You are a courageous man, my son. Prepare for battle. We will march to Xiapi. Lubu must pay. <laughs> you would have been in the way and you might have gotten hurt. Besides, there's nothing special about hunting down a wild beast. It was something I should have done at the Hulao Gate. Hmm. You know, I really think that the time has come when you should be calling yourself Emperor. Because after all, you're brave as can be and really strong. Shang Zhang. There are more kinds of strength than of that in war. See, I feel quite content. Being loyal is enough for me. Oh, Liu Bei! Who does he think he is? Calls us traitors, us of all people! There's nothing that can be done. We hold the Imperial Seal and won't give it back. What do you expect, they'll say? 
As far as they know, we're betraying the Emperor. But still, Father has done everything for the Emperor to remove those who sow discord. It is not a concern. I have been prepared for that. Let them call me a traitor. I do not mind at all. I can't concern myself about it anymore. Let history show that we were all loyal. Liu Bei, prepare yourself in Jing, for I will soon be there. The coward. What does he hope to gain by locking himself away? He is waiting for his master. There is someone supporting him, but we do not know who they are. And yet, my lord, I wonder if they will truly come here in time to give him aid. They know we have the Imperial Seal and that they must take it from me. Be sure of this. They will attack. We must be prepared to meet them in battle, close to Shucheng. I believe that they are merely using Liu Bei as a decoy to see whether I will take any action. My lord, the armies of Cao Cao have departed Xinye and are on the march for Fan Castle. Hmm. They're on their way. Now, my tigers, we will meet the enemy. The time has come to fight! <laughs> We have beaten Lu Bu and Lu Bei. The only one not destroyed is Cao Cao. Father, Cao Cao controls the Imperial Court. We shouldn't attack, though I hate to say it. So I suppose that we should just ignore him and then keep our heads down. Listen, I believe that he has no patriotism and is loyal only to himself. He's a traitor, is he? I believe so. I do not trust that man, son. Father! Father, we have trouble! Cao Cao, his soldiers have begun to march! They have? We're fools! We've been outmaneuvered. All right, get the men ready to move. We'll march our troops east. Cao Cao will be taught a lesson. Father! Listen, I believe we'll run into Cao Cao very soon! Right. We'll form up the men as soon as we leave these trees. Then we'll attack. Cao Cao, what is the vision that drove you to this course of action? The future you are trying to create may indeed be better than the one that we have now. Still, in the end you're one of those who would set aside the history of the Imperial Court. You're merely a traitor. I am the blade of the Imperial Heart. No one will steal the throne, I swear it! Sun Jian, we are pleased to learn you are to become our advisor and greet you in the name of the Imperial Court. Imperial Highness, I have been feared as the Tiger of Zhang Dong and have swept the fields of battle with my weapon. There is no guarantee that someday I might not fall prey to the ambitions that drove Dong Zhuo. Sun Jian, what are you saying? <laughs> it was a joke. A bad one. Forgive me, Your Highness. Still, if you propose to keep tigers by your side, it is necessary that you are strong enough to tame them. You question my strength? Of course. The greatest hope for peace in our benighted world lies in the strength of her Emperor's heart. To that heart I swear, by my honor I will pledge my sword and my eternal loyalty to you, Emperor. 